Hey, what is up? This is Saken, and I am back. Now, this is supposed to be a, a setup video, a class setup, and I'm going to briefly go over this. It's my normal stuff I run. You've seen this in other videos. The only thing I'm doing different is I'm going with this UAV with extra points. I'm going with threat detection, and I'm going with support. Now, I'm going to encourage the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. I'm going to change this to a bomber run. That UAV is so huge because with that threat detection, it helps your teammates out a lot. I'm finding I get this a lot because, you know, it accumulates the point a lot. Now, I was going to go in and show you guys, you know, how I camped this, which you guys have already seen. But honestly, what I wanted to do, I wanted to rant a little bit. Yes, sake and ranting. I've come to the conclusion. Call of Duty isn't dying. The problem with Call of Duty, the community. Specifically, the YouTube community. I, I, I was just watching videos yesterday. And I went to so many channels. And I'm talking big guys, medium guys, small guys. They were complaining the whole time about Call of Duty, and I don't get it. Now, if you look at the sales, this game that made over a billion dollars. You know, I had somebody tell me it's the lowest selling COD of all time, and I'm like, dude, you obviously haven't seen all the sales. The earlier CODs weren't necessarily hitting a billion dollars. Now, with microtransactions and things of that nature, I think it's just a perception. You know, they have a saying, perception is reality. So basically, if you perceive it, then it's the truth, even though it's not. Their perception could be all wrong. Ooh, I got laid down, some idiot come through. And so what I'm finding is the perception of the community isn't necessarily lining up with the sales nor the game. People are playing this game. Now, the problem I have, or what I think the problem is, I actually think it's the community. And let me explain. I'm finding that the older Call of Duty community, the ones before, like, Black Ops 2, the ones that go way back, like the original, you know, the guys who 10 years ago, they were in love with this game, and now they just want to talk about it. I'm finding YouTubers who are stuck on stupid. Like, they talk about all the new CODs. They feel like the last three or four years, there haven't been any CODs. I'll be specific. I'll call, and I'm not about YouTube drama. But, like, I was watching 402 Thunder video, and I really enjoy 402 Thunder. Let me say that right now. I think he has a great voice for being a commentator. And I, he's interesting. I don't know why, but when he talks, I listen. I like to listen to his videos. But I'm the number one camper. He's the number one complainer. I got to say that. He complains about COD. But he does make a few points, a few points. Like he really thinks this game should cater to the um, casuals. Not necessarily the MLG players, and I'll agree with that because the majority of people playing are just casual. It's not like this is all MLG lobbies and whatnot. What I don't agree with is his logic sometimes why the game is bad. Like to me, Ghost was a great game. People not Ghost, and I don't get why. And don't say because of campers, because Black Ops 2 was way easier to camp. They even gave you an oven. And don't get me wrong, even though you had EMP grenades, they always kind of give you something at a counter. But I used to camp hard in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was really campy, and the quick scope in Black Ops 2 was almost sickening. It was so bad. It's still bad. You get in there, sometimes you get in lobbies, and the quick scope, and it felt like it's broke, because they just do it well, way too easy on me. But anyway, so I'm watching this video, and he complains a lot. He complains a lot about COD, but I feel like he represents the older guys that have been around for a long time. I think what it is, is these guys are nostalgic. You know, they knew that first thing, that very first COD, that feeling of just non-stop playing this game. They don't have that feeling anymore. But it's understandable. This is a 10-year-old franchise. A lot of you guys that are like young teenagers, you weren't playing this. Some of you guys were in diapers when COD originally came out. For some people, their first COD was Ghost. I think that's the problem. The older guys are complaining but not realizing that this is a business. And Treyarch and Sledgehammer, they need to cater to the new crowd. Forget you old guys. There's nothing that's going to please you at this point. But imagine guys that just now started playing this game. Like, take for example, I was listening to Jay Glove. Jay Glove hasn't been around, but he's enjoying the game. You get into the game, you enjoy the game, you play the game. If Ghost was the first game you came into, you might not enjoy this. Advanced Warfare is so much different than Ghost, which is okay. But some YouTubers, I'm noticing you got these Call of Duty YouTubers, and they're making their career out of complaining about the game. All their videos are complaints, and that's fine. Some people rage every game, and I, honestly, that's the only way they can get views on their videos. And it's okay. I mean, if you're a rager, I'm not knocking that. I don't knock anyone hustle. I don't knock how anyone commentates. You know, there's a few people I think are idiots on YouTube. And I'm not talking about, like, like for example, Green Goblin. I don't think he's an idiot. I don't know the guy personally. I think reverse boosting is a dirty move. But I don't know him personally. But there's a couple YouTubers who have, how can you say it, they went at me. Like, some of the things they've said, whether they're tweeting me or commenting to me. It's almost crazy. I'm like, like, what's wrong with you? You're a grown man. Like, it's cool if people are like, oh, stupid capper, and then we leave it at that. Like, I'll collaborate with anybody, even people that don't necessarily like my style of play. 
you know what, get in the lobby with me. Let's have fun. And that's kind of how I am. I don't really take it personal, but there's been a couple people who have taken it to a personal level. I just block them. And I'm not going to name the YouTuber names, but it's really weird when grown people do that. But, you know, I'm watching these YouTubers, and I watched one, and he swear he's like, I'm keeping it real with you guys. I'm keeping it real. I'm going to tell you guys that the game suck and Ali ain't them. The only reason they're saying they're great because they're on payroll. To me, that sounds like he's jealous. Maybe Ali A and them, they are on payroll and they're getting paid by Sledgehammer to talk good about this game. I'm not knocking that. Hey, if Sledgehammer wanted to pay me, I would put a Sledgehammer tattoo on my forehead, do live streams. I mean, that, that's awesome. When you get big enough and you got developers and companies that want to pay you to just mention a game. Like, imagine if Sony paid me. I'll be like, hey, guys, PS4, screw Xbox. You know, but I'm not getting paid. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to mislead people. Like, I wouldn't be on here trying to promote cigarettes. I would actually have to like the product, too. I just feel like these guys are hating. Maybe Ali A actually likes this game. You notice people like Ali A and even um, Mark J. He gets adjusted to every COD. Oh, look at this. I saw my teammate get shot there while somebody's going to come through this door. And I'm going to go, night, night. <laughs> get out of here, turd. But I actually heard a YouTuber. And all his fans. Oh, I heard a YouTuber talking about Ali A. And all his fans were like, yeah, you're right. This game sucks. No, it sucks for you. You're in a nostalgic mode. You know what? You're the old Call of Duty fan. You need to go on and move on to something else. There are plenty of people on Earth, and every year you get younger kids is getting onto the games, and you know let let the new fans enjoy the game. The only problem is YouTube really affects the game. It affects the sales. Believe it or not, YouTube is a huge marketing tool, and I'm sure these developers don't want these guys talking. But that's why you got like the biggest YouTubers. Look, you know it's PewDie, not PewDie, but Ali A, like with five million subscribers versus somebody with like twenty thousand talking about the game. Most people will never see this video. This video is going to get maybe a thousand, two thousand views. So it's not like I'm going to make um, Thunder mad talking about him, you know. And again, I really wasn't talking about him. I, like I said, I really enjoy his commentary. I just, I enjoy his commentary style. I think he has a great channel. I just wish he would be a little more positive. He's an interesting guy. I just like when he tells stories and stuff. And you know, it's a lot of people I used to like. Like Chris Move. I wish he would go back to Black Ops. That guy is just hilarious to me. But, you know, he plays NBA 2K15. And I'm just not into that game. So I have a hard time watching that. Look at these ladies turds down. You know what? Get out of here. Oh, I love camping on that perch. And look at that. How many times have I gotten that UAV? That's the UAV with threat detection. Look, I'm keeping them lit up throughout this game. Yeah, I know 1050 seems like a lot of points, but when you're playing this game, you get through it so many times. Trust me. Like, like I keep getting it because the points add up. And when the points are accumulating, I'm telling you, try to set it right here. Put it on um, support and see how many times you get it. If nothing else, your teammates, look at them. They're spawning right next to me. You're helping your teammates out. You will get the assist point, but look, it makes the game easier for you. Like, these guys can't go nowhere. They're lit up through the whole map, and that's why I've been running with this. And I was running with the Paladin earlier, just wrecking people. I've been playing this morning, and just I just was in the mood to lay people down. I know I got a few invites, and I didn't answer because I wanted to get on here and just kind of go solo. I feel like I've been doing better solo lately. I don't know why, but when I play with people, I feel like I have rubber bullet syndrome. I don't know if their um, computer speed has affected me and if I'm getting lagged because I'm playing with people in the party. But when I've been going solo, man, I've been just destroying people. And my KD has been rising. Yes, ever since I used this bow, and I'm almost prestige. I'm at 50. I just prestige like a day ago, and I'm already at 50. I'm about to go ahead and go into the 11th prestige. This bow, because I've been dropping people. I mean, I've been getting a lot of 40 and 50 bomb games. Oh, look at this. I dropped a bomber run on my head. Because I'm scoring so high, I'm going through the prestige really, really fast. But anyway, I wanted to know. Oh, look at that. Look at that feed in that window. I destroyed those guys. And look, it makes it easy when you can see these guys. So you guys tell me your opinion. Do you think Call of Duty is dying? Do you think I'm bringing up any valid points? Or do you think I'm just an idiot? Go ahead and tell me. I mean, you can be honest with me. You can be blunt. I don't mind. I got thick skin. I don't let this YouTube stuff get to me. But I just really feel like these guys are just complaining to complain at this point. And you know, and maybe that's what they want to do. Have a complaining channel. It is what it is. But I really don't think Call of Duty's dying. I can't wait for the next Call of Duty. Now, I've had my moments where I've been frustrated with this game. I'm not frustrated with the game because of the way the game is designed. I think it was kind of awesome. The, the thought of exosuits and advanced futuristic warfare. And, you know, I don't think it's the best score streaks. But i actually been enjoying the game. The things that have frustrated me have been things like like lag. I think the lag has been so bad that it kind of almost killed the game. And I would like to see them get rid of skill-based matchmaking. I would like to see them go with something like Ghost. Now, honestly, if they got rid of skill-based matchmaking, it's only going to benefit people like me because I'm going to go through and wreck people. Imagine me in lobbies with some noobs like this is Ghost. Now, look at this. I'm in a lobby with other people of equal skills. You know, my KD is about a one and a half. So I usually get in lobbies with one and a half to about two KD. So I'm playing with people who are technically on a little better level, and I'm still wrecking people. I get in games, I have no problem dropping a 50 bomb. And don't let me get in with Jimmy Dean and them. You know, I'll get in with, you know, Jimmy Dean. I wish Nick. Nick too quick. Shout out, bro. 
he just doesn't have time to play the game. But you know, when I get in with people, and you know, we wreck people. King Paper Chase, all these guys. We get in the game and we lay people down. Look at this. I'm about to hold this spot down. We're up 172 to 93. We didn't pretty much lay them down. Look at this. I'm about to get that UAV again. Again, I don't know how many times I've had this, but look at this. I'm just dropping this. Like I said, ooh, ooh, lay it down. Hit glitch. King Slayer. Let me drop it again. Where are these turds at? Oh, look at you trying to be in the window. You know what? Night -night. How dare you try to? And I got a Vanguard. He was sitting on top of the flag. What a turd. But look at the scores, 180 to 97. All right, you guys. My next video will be a ghost video. This is for the ghost fans. I want to put something out for you guys. I am working on a um, camper of the week, but I want to kind of do like a top 10 camper of the week this week just because, you know, my time has been light. You know what? This game is almost over. You know what? Let me go ahead and drop this bomb and run. Go ahead and lay him down. Oh, I got the Warbird. Let's go ahead and put the Warbird up. And you know what? Let's go ahead and drop this drone. Now, imagine you in the game and you hear bomb and run. Warbird. Drone. And you know who that is? That's Shaking Mara. I almost called myself Shaking. <laughs> How many people done call me Shaking? I almost messed my own name up. Hey, look at this. I know these turds don't know what to do. I don't even know why they're going for flags. The game's pretty much over. If they're coming out for flags, all they're going to do is allow me to lay them down. <laughs> Where you at, turds? Where you at? Look, I feel like I done tortured these guys with laying them down. But this is a fun map to play. I don't even know what my score is. I haven't even been checking the score of this game. Oh, lay them down. One for the road. That's what's up. Let's see this. Let's see what the score is. Look at this. Did I get the final kill? Let's see. Sports Center highlight of the day. Dun and dun. Dun and dun. Oh, it is taken. And look at that. I dropped a 40 plus bomb on him. I died six times. Ah, that's awful of me. I'm failing you guys. Anyway, you guys, I am out. Leave a like, leave a comment, and you remember, let's go.